This is a complete tutorial on how to put Cyanogen mod on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Let's first do all the downloading. So first click on the first link in the description and download everything that's on there. Then create a folder on the desktop and call it CM or Cyanogen mod. We're going to create another folder inside of the cyanogen mod folder and we're going to call it transfer. So you're going to need to transfer all the file that you have downloaded from the first link in the description and put it on the transfer folder. Now click on the second link in the description and download everything that's there. So to make it more organized, we're going to go to the cyanogen mod folder and we're going to create a new folder. Uh, let's call it root and driver. Now move everything that you downloaded from the second link in the description to this folder. Now extract both of the file from the root and driver folder. Now go to the Kindle, go to the more section, go to device and turn on allow installation of applications. Then go back, go to security and turn on enable ADB. Now we have to download an application from the Amazon App Store. It's completely free. It's called ES File Explorer. Once you're done downloading ES File Explorer, plug the Kindle to your computer. Now we're going to be installing the driver. So go to the root and driver section and press Kindle Fire ADV driver. It's going to go through an installation which shouldn't take that long. Now we're going to be rooting the Kindle. Double click on Run Me. That's on the same root and driver folder. For the choice, we're going to type 1 and then enter. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to start uh, successfully and then press Do Not Backup on the Kindle and then hit enter on the computer. Now it's going to say that press restore my data on the Kindle. And it's going to take a couple seconds. And on the computer you're going to have to press enter again. And now the Kindle should reboot. And then it's going to turn on but it's going to be a really laggy. It's going to reboot in a couple seconds so you could just scroll around but it's going to be really laggy. So it's going to reboot in a couple seconds and it's rebooting. So now it's going to say Kindle is upgrading. That's going to take about five minutes and now you are rooted. To make sure that you are rooted, uh, press on apps and you should see super user on the application. Now we're going to be transferring the transfer folder on the Kindle. To make sure that it's correct, go to the transfer folder and you should see two zip file, the cyanogen mod and the gaps. Do not extract it. So now we're going to go to the Kindle, go to the download section of the Kindle and we're going to paste the whole transfer folder on here. Once that's done, we're going to go to the Kindle and we're going to press ES File Explorer. So go to the download section, go to transfer and press fireflash.apk and we're going to install that. After that's in installed, we're going to open it and allow for super user. That's the root access. Now we're going to be selecting the boot partition and we're going to select it and we're going to go to the transfer folder and select freedom boot image 7.4.6. Now press the not flashed option on, on the recovery partition and press twerp 2.6.3.1. Once that's done, you're going to press the disable recovery auto update and we're also going to be pressing the flash kf hd u boot so once that done make sure that everything is correct and press flash install script now this is going to take about a minute and press ok 
After that's done, press reboot into recovery. Now this is going to load into twarp. The first thing you're going to do when you go to twarp is backup. Press backup. Now you're going to press everything to backup and swipe to backup. This is going to take about 5 minutes. Once that's done, hit back, not reboot system, and then hit back again. Select wipe and swipe to factory reset. This is going to take about 2 minutes. Once that's done, press back, back again. Now we're going to be installing the CyanogenMod mod and the gaps. Go to download, go to transfer. First select CM11, add more zips, and then gaps and then swipe to confirm flash. Once that done, we're going to be rebooting the system. So hit reboot system. Now you're going to have to go through the setup process, that's going to take a lot of time. So once that's done, we're going to have to update the Cyanogen mod. I have the older version, so you're going to have to update it right away. Go to settings, scroll down to about tablet, go to Cyanogen mod updates, that's going to be on the top part. And then to make it easier for you, uh, change check for updates to twice daily because there is an update every single day pretty much and change it to all version because as of now there is only nightly version so we're going to be hitting the latest update which is the 511 as of now when you download it it's going to be the latest version based on the date now you have cyanogen mod this is as close to stock Android as you could get. It's very smooth. It's a lot better than the stock Amazon OS. You're going to see a huge difference in speed, even in video quality. The bitrate is much higher. Now, I have one recommendation that you should do to gain more screen real estate, which is hiding the soft buttons at the bottom. Go to interface on the settings and expanded desktop and select status bar visible now hold the power button for two seconds and it's going to give you an option for expanded desktop now you get more screen real estate and the and the soft buttons are transparent and it's very non-intrusive so it doesn't get in the way of watching a video and it doesn't take any screen real estate when you're gaming If you have any question regarding the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch, you could hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is comtechcom, the same as the channel name. I also have a whole array of video regarding the Kindle Fire HD. So please check my channel out. There is going to be a lot of fixes for your problem. So I would really appreciate a like because this video pretty much took me the whole day to make. That's pretty much all. Thanks for watching.